All right, guys, I am back at the base. I need to turn this forge on and start hacking smelting stuff, because, man, I've got tons of metal over here smelting, or smelted, and as well as a little bit that needs to be smelted. But anyways, throw some uh, some wood in there, just a little bit of charcoal, as if I don't have enough hacking coal, right, from hacking raptor claws. Golly. <laughs> anyways, over here, I've got, uh, I've got, like, what is it? How many do I have here? I have, like, a four by three area over here of foundations, of stone foundations, as plus stone foundations, that is. And of course, uh, I've, I've got a lot of large crop plots over here. I've got eight large crop plots, one of which I haven't, you know, used just yet. I haven't fertilized it or anything like that just yet. But as you can see, uh, everything else over here, we've got plants, we've got fruits, whatever else you want to call them, vegetables. <laughs> we've got uh, two things over here for narco berries, so, you know, I can make narcotics and all that kind of stuff. This one's for uh, miho berries in case I want to make uh, you know, in, in case I want to tame a critter. As well as over here, we've got one of each vegetable. We got the rock race, we got the citronals, we got the long grass, we got the heck of sava roots. And then over here, I've got the compost bin so we could turn, you know, feces plus, uh, oh, look, nice. Well, that one's done. I think all of these are done. I think, I, yeah, I, I think I started all six of these at the same time. So it looks like we have a pretty good amount of fertilizer over here. So I've got six, uh, compost bins making fertilizer at a time, but I've got like heck of eight of these large crop plots. So I should probably make a couple more crop or uh, a couple more compost bins so I can make more fertilizer. But fertilizer is, of course, a lot better than using straight up feces. So uh, I think it was this one. Yeah, this is the one that I, I didn't have any fertilizer in, but uh, I just kind of stored a bunch of random feces in there just because of just to make up for it. Because, of course, one thing of fertilizer does 5,400 fertilizer. Uh, I think that's like nitrogen points or something like that. Yeah, nitrogen 54,000 out of uh well, not 54,000 out of 54,000 anymore. It just went down like 15 points. Either way, uh, having one thing of, uh, of fertilizer is a lot better than having a bit of poo. So that's why I've got these compost bins over here so I can actually, you know, turn this poo into something that's a little bit more efficient. Anyways, just got to throw three of these in here at a time as well as pull, I think it was at 50 thatch. And now uh, it takes quite a while for poo to be composted into uh, fertilizer. There we go. I don't have enough to do all this, but I, I do have a decent amount of critters to where I can just go around, wait, one in the world? Oh, there you go. To where I can just go around and, uh, yeah, you can see right there, we even have a big old piece, piece of feces here in the background. <laughs> but just pick these things up, all I need is just three of them, along with, uh, 50 thatch, and we're good to go, as well as the poo that I give, uh, out of my anus. So there we go, grab that, as well as the one my manic armor has. And speaking of my manic armor, some of you guys were saying, hey, you know your manic armor does have a double jump ability, so I might want to test that out here in just a bit. See exactly how good, how useful that might may actually be when we're uh, using them again. But lately, I've been using almost exclusively our enforcer. But over here, you can see we got the uh, the foundations, all that kind of stuff set up for our upcoming uh, greenhouse. You can see right now our greenhouse effect is zero percent. If we get a greenhouse going over here, we don't even have to build the whole entire greenhouse. We just have to build a few uh, like greenhouse like uh, ceilings and walls and stuff like that. It doesn't even have to be completely enclosed or anything like that, and it'll still work no problem. But uh, Let's see, which one has the lowest? I think, okay, that one has a low amount of fertilizer. Just kind of topping these all off to make sure I don't have to worry about them. So, there we go. And that was at 48. I think this one right here was the newest one, right? Uh, oh, I don't have any more fertilizer? Oh, I guess I don't have any more fertilizer. Okay, whatever. Anyways, you guys might have noticed that we got, like, these wooden spike walls. I even have more over here from the first, uh... Uh, Raptor Claws present that we got just moments ago, maybe like 10 minutes ago by now. Uh, we have these spike walls as well as some other structures. Definitely want to use these, either just to place them down and then destroy to get their materials, or to actually, you know, protect our base. And you can, uh, and by the way, speaking of our base, you might have noticed, hey, why were your, your plants were like right here, and then you built your greenhouse over here. Well, what gives? Well, I kind of want to leave some room around our current setup right now so we'd actually you know expand the base out and make it bigger over time because i do want to make it bigger i, I do want to have more room for our base and storage and all that kind of stuff machines especially when we make the uh the what's it called again ah oh, man i can't remember the name of it <laughs> the fabricator once we make the fabricator the thing that actually requires like gasoline and electricity all that kind of stuff to power uh the uh, electric generator too once we get one of those things, as well as some other high-tech uh, structures, we're going to need a lot more room. So I've kind of left a little bit of room around our current little setup right now, which isn't even that big. It'll, it'll definitely get a little bit bigger over time. Definitely want to make it a little bit uh, cleaner looking over here as well. We've just got random heckin' forges on the outside, so we definitely want to clean it up too. But for right now, that's the reason why I've got this greenhouse over here, and I do want to see, because I, I think I said earlier that I have like heckin' 5,000 or so crystal. I probably have even more. I think I might need to res- I might have already resource pulled it. I don't no, uh, no, I don't. I have 590 more on my heckin' guy. Golly! And I have even more that I dropped off at the, uh, the city terminal all the way over there. So, jeez, I have so many. How many do I have? Let's go to the, uh, let's just go to, 
We have six heckin' thousand crystal now. Five thousand element dust. We've got 250 metal ingots, but of course I have way more in the actual forges. I've got 600 uh, oil. I've got plenty of polymer slash uh, the corrupted nodule things. Yeah, corrupted nodules. I've got plenty of that stuff, so I am good to go in that front. But uh, in terms of metal and stuff, let me just kind of transfer all the metal over here so I can kind of consolidate them and uh, better keep track of how much metal we actually have. So, boom, 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 there we go. How much, uh, how much do we have now in metal? 778 metal, man! Now, what is the most, okay, this one's level 135, it's a primal level as well, golly! I think we could almost make it, we're like, almost halfway on metal and it's, we have plenty of crystals, jeez! We're about, uh, eh, a third, almost a third. A little bit more than a third the way they're on uh, element dust and of course polymer. Yeah, well, it'll probably take one trip of just killing a bunch of corrupted critters to get a bunch of corrupted nodules and we'll have like 500 more uh, corrupted nodules slash polymer to uh, cover that. But that seems like a pretty good critter. Damage uh, 115%, energy 100%, stamina 120, health 80. I don't remember the stats on our current guy. I don't know if I can actually like check right here. Uh, yeah, it doesn't really say, it doesn't say like those percents or anything like that on the blueprints, so I don't know what the, I don't know what the stats of this guy was. But he has 5,000 health now, 6,000 melee damage, he has a uh, increased carry weight, because of course I've been using him basically just to heckin' destroy a bunch of street lamps and all that kind of stuff, as well as uh, sometimes I get him to carry me and he's basically a heckin' wagon, and I can go around and uh, destroy uh, rocks, cut down trees, all that kind of stuff, get, and just gather resources in general. And because of this great carry weight, you know, about a thousand pounds, and he's actually decently fast, uh, he's been a pretty good little wagon critter. Well, anyways, speaking of the, uh, using these wood, uh, spike thing. God, these weigh a lot. 52 pounds for 13? Sheesh. Might as well, uh, start placing them down and stuff like that, right? Because we did, uh, off camera, I did get another attack by a, uh, T-Rex. And, of course, it, it happened, like, right here. So it destroyed some of my pipes. That's why it kind of looks wacky as heck over here. I had to replace down all the pipes whenever I built this over here. But, uh, I don't know how far, uh, ah, I don't know, right here. Ah, I'll probably be fine right there. Just kind of help protect our base here. Does this snap to it? Oh, wait, hold on. These are not S plus versions. Oh, nice. So these are not S plus versions of it, but the game itself, Ark itself, actually allows you to pick up items within, I think, 30 seconds of you placing it down. So that's really cool. So if you accidentally place something down, you don't have to hack and destroy it anymore. If you're playing vanilla Ark, you have like a 30 second buffer to where you're able to uh, pick it up again and place it down properly. Anyways, I did just say that those are not S+, plus, but I do want to make this thing the S+, plus converter table, which will actually convert uh, regular items into S+, plus versions of them. And the reason, main reason why I want to turn these uh, I, these uh, wooden spikes into S+, plus versions of them is because the uh, S+, plus versions, like, snap to each other, so I don't have to, like, play the guessing game of trying to place them down properly. So convert all, and does that work? You do not have the... Oh, I guess I don't have the anger. Okay, let me get the uh, spike. I guess I have to have the anger for it first. So there we go. I don't know if I want to get a metal spike wall. That's going to be expensive as butt cheeks, especially in uh, this early in the game. But uh, there we go. S plus wooden walls. Or wooden spike walls, that is. All right. So let's go place these down. Kind of on our perimeter. Or at least where I want to keep the perimeter. And you can see these are... Uh, kind of snapping to the foundations here now. So that's kind of cool. But they will snap to each other too. So that'll be pretty helpful. But... Uh, yeah, maybe about right there. That should be fine. And then we just kind of place these around the... Oh, I can't even... I can't even place those there. Okay, whatever. Okay, well, there you go. Well, I guess I'll pick these ones back up. Uh, pick up that wood spike wall. Place it down. There we go. Yeah, that one works. I don't know why that didn't work previously. Whatever. Anyways, I'm heckin' dying of thirst. So there we go. Drink some water there, Danny and Vito. Yeah. <laughs> but there we go. Getting ourselves some pretty good passive protection from critters. Of course, I do want to leave an opening for my critters to actually come in and out. Of course, I could always make a gate, but, uh... God, this is looking terrible. I'll probably spend some time off camera making this look better. <laughs> of course, we're also going to need way more of these spikes, too. If we want to... This is not really not... Uh... Yeah, I could play... Yeah, I could place it through the pipes. I guess maybe because of the heckin' terrain of this, it's, like, all slanted and sloped and stuff. It just doesn't fit very well. Whatever! I might just place a couple more on this side. That way we can kind of be protected by, you know, eh, just kind of somewhat protected. <laughs> Not fully enclosed in like a heckin' castle or anything like that, but, you know, decently protected, I guess you could say so. Just randomly place these down over here. At least it's yeah, decently flat. So it shouldn't be a problem with the terrain over here on this side, though. So, uh, oh, whatever. There, you're literally right as I say that. We <laughs> run into heckin' terrain where I can't place it down. All right, well, just place the rest of these down just so I don't have to worry about these in my inventory. 
And of course we have like pillars and all that other stuff in my inventory too. I don't think I'm going to use them. Uh, we have regular stone foundations, we have regular wood foundations, and we have wood pillars, stone pillars. We even have primal icon pistols. Primal simple pistol. I don't know if I'll use that. Usually I skip up to like the heckin' uh, pump action shoddy and stuff. But we do have a primal bow as well. Don't know if I'll use that either. Of course because these are primal, if I go salvage them, I will get a pretty good amount of materials. So that'll be pretty cool. Well anyways, speaking of salvaging, I might just get these foundations and just stack them on top of each other and just heckin' destroy them <laughs> and get some materials out of them. And, uh, oh yeah, because they're not S+, plus, they don't, uh, there we go. I'm like, at least they heckin' snap to each other, so that's good, right? But, uh, I do have the destructive gun over here, and if I right-click with it, it'll turn into, there we go, into demolish mode. That'll make it a lot easier for me to demolish these, so boom, 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 boom! Alright, 240 stone right there, 120 wood, 90 thatch, not bad! And, of course, we do have wood foundations, too, so, man, speaking of, uh, me expanding the base and all that stuff, these two chests over here, I don't know if I ever told you guys, but I started organizing these. Over here is, like, uh, armor and weapons, these two are for storage of, like, random resources, you can see we have five. We have chitin, we have hide. Uh, same thing over here. By the way, if you guys are wondering, hey, how, how do you have so much cementing paste? Where did you actually find those silica pearls? Uh, well, you guys know the beaver dams that are near here. Uh, oh man, more feces, but I think I'm fine. But over here in the rivers and stuff, you guys remember those uh, beavers? They do, oh, you can actually see them. Yeah, right there, there's a beaver dam there, and there's a beaver dam right there. Uh, those things actually have cementing paste in them. I think I might have said that previously, where uh, I was like, oh man, uh, I really need to find a beaver dam if I want to get a bunch of cementing paste. But I actually did that and get a pretty good amount of cementing paste, as well as uh, silica pearls and rare flowers and stuff. Or either rare flowers or rare mushrooms or both, I forget which one. Uh, you could find in there, but I got a pretty good amount of all that. Oh, speaking of rare flat, there's one right there. I want to go put that up in the preserving bin over here. So, where in the world? Oh, there it is right there. Oh, I don't have room. God, I don't have room. Oh, whatever. There you go. There you go. Nice. All right. Well, I don't have any room over here. You can see this one's, uh... Oh, I guess that one's not full because I must have crashed something off camera or something like that, but whatever. It used to be full, and this one was full too. So I started storing stuff inside of here because there's 500 heckin' storage slots in here, so... That's very, very helpful. But anyways... I don't think I'm going to use that bow, so let me just salvage that. And we got 22 wood and probably a bunch of other stuff, so that's kind of cool. I don't know if I'll use the simple... I'll, I'll, I'll probably... I'll just put that over here for right now. I'm like, I don't even have ammo for it, so... I'm like, I could make ammo for it if I want, but eh. Right now, I, I think I'd rather work up to a shoddy, right? And I think you have to make that at the fabricator, which kind of sucks. But, of course, we do need to actually start working towards that, getting higher tech things. But we also have tons of other stuff I want to do, so sheesh. <laughs> Anyways, the other storage things over here, we have, a uh, uh, what is it called, structures. And over here, we have, like, rare drops and stuff, so that's kind of cool. So, I think we got these from the other Raptor Claws present, too. So, I, I might as well destroy these, salvage them, get some good uh, materials out of them. So, you know, at least it'll save me a trip going around harvesting a bunch of wood, metal, or uh, wood stone, all that kind of stuff. Especially because I'm not going to be using these things, at least right now. If I, if I had these a little bit earlier, I probably would have converted these uh, stone ones into the S-plus version of them and used it for the greenhouse. Which, speaking of such, we definitely want to go uh, see if we can make any uh, greenhouse stuff here in just a moment. So, uh, yeah, real quick, let's actually unlock the greenhouse stuff. Uh, greenhouse wall, ceiling, and that's pretty much all we need. Just the S-plus versions of them is fine, too. We could get the greenhouse door and the double door, all that kind of thing. We could get those, but don't. It's, it's not even necessary, so don't need to really worry about it too much, to be quite honest. Anyways, demolish mode has been enabled! Let's get ourselves a ton of wood and stuff. Hopefully I'm actually able to move around with all this heck of materials in my inventory. Oh, let's see. Oh, I'm already getting over encumbered. No! Man! Man, I can... Oh, sheesh! Yeah, I'm glad I didn't destroy those two, because I, I can barely move right now. I've got some Baywatch slow motion running memes going on right now. Sheesh. <laughs> Man. Oh, look at that. We got ourselves a uh, one of those heckin' sheep fellows that snuck into here somehow. I don't know how that happened. <laughs> I got outsmarted by a heckin' Ovis. Anyways, gotta throw some of these raw materials up inside the uh, salvage thing over here. Just because I'm like, it has so many heckin' uh, slots inside of it for the random resources. So might as well take use of it, right? Sheesh. And we still have the pillars I need to destroy, too. Golly. Hopefully Raptor Claws to visit us again, uh, maybe in about 12 in-game hours, he'll visit us again, and uh, I don't know, hopefully we're going to be nice and not heckin' naughty, and we actually start getting some good eatings out of him. I don't know. I definitely want to find that one gotcha critter, though. See what, like, juicy loot we could actually trade in these, like, mistletoes and coal and all that kind of stuff. Apparently, like I said earlier, we have to find them where we find parasaurs, so I might want to get on, like, my RNG, someone that's, you know, pretty agile, could fly around, get a literal bird's eye view, and uh, we could probably find him pretty easily. 
from uh, from the skies. So I might want to go do that here just a bit after we make the greenhouse. But for right now, I need to place down all these heckin' random pillars and whatever else and just heckin'. God, I'm saying heckin' a lot lately, aren't I? <laughs> but I just want to place all these down and just destroy them, get some of the raw materials out of them, and uh, just kind of store them up because, man, I, I really need to make uh, vaults too. Hold on. Do I have vaults? I'm not, I guess I don't have vaults unlocked. Uh, yeah, you can't make it in your inventory. I think you need to make it at the, uh, the fabric. Or either that or the S plus crafting station, which is basically like a heckin', uh, like an all-in-one crafting thing. I don't know if I ever told you guys about it, but, uh, what is this one? Yeah, you have to make that one at the fabricator, so, uh, let's just heckin' unlock that, just cause why not? It is kinda cheating if you think about it, that I can make it at the S plus crafting station. That one doesn't require any power to, like, turn on or anything like that. Yeah, so we're basically circumventing that whole, like, electricity part of the game, but whatever. I know, I just gotta keep placing all this trash down. <laughs> Alright, let's get the gun out, turn it into demolish mode where it turns red. And golly! Man, these things are going flying. Jeez, that's hitting my house over there. God! That one's. Okay, timber! Alright, well, at least these aren't going heckin'. Oh, that one's going flying! Hit my heckin' uh, enforcer there. Alright, well, at least these pillars aren't giving us insane amounts of materials where I'm not able to move. But I'm still getting a pretty decent amount. Now, a little bit of stone, a little bit of. Eh, not even that much. What are we even getting? Like seven wood or something like that? A little bit of that. God, there's like. We're getting basically nothing from these things. Sheesh. Um. It's a lot better than nothing, I'd say. It'll save us a couple trips every now and then. Actually manually getting a bunch of heckin' wood and stone and all that kind of stuff, so I can't complain too much, I guess. But anyways, let's go over here to the thing. Oh yeah, I did say the S plus crafting. Let's make that. S plus crafting station. Can I make that right now? I can. Okay, that'll be pretty cool. We can just kind of consolidate that thing. It's just a general crafting table that we can just craft pretty much anything at. And they're always going to be guaranteed to be S plus versions of them instead of uh, worrying about crafting the wrong type and uh, having to convert them into, uh, where in the world am I going to, see this is what I'm talking about, I'm running out of room, uh, place it here, sure, why not, but <laughs> let's just place it there and then go to greenhouse and let's make ourselves, I don't know how many things I want to make, uh, six, is that good enough, because I, you, you do need a lot of crystals, you do need a lot of cementy paste and a lot of metal and stuff, thankfully I have a lot of all of those, so that's great, let's make all six of those, and ceilings, I don't know, Eh, maybe like four, four ceilings should be fine, I'd say. So there we go. Like I said earlier, you don't have to have like a fully enclosed greenhouse for you to get the 300% greenhouse effect going on, so we could just kind of skimp out on these materials over here and still get the 300% greenhouse effect, which of course helps out our plants quite well. Uh, they like bear fruit a little bit more often, they grow a little bit quicker too, so that's always good having the greenhouse effect and all that kind of stuff, but uh, we don't have to have the doorway and stuff either, we can just leave a little uh, open area here and it'll be fine. But for right now, we do need to make this at least two things tall so we could place the ceilings on top and still walk under them, so... There we go. We don't even need to have this many uh, walls either, I don't think. But... There we go. Just place these down randomly, like this. <laughs> yeah, I think we're fine now. Just place these walls down. I know I could put these down in my hotbar and make it a little bit easier to place down and stuff, but... Uh, for right now... Am I getting... Yep, look at that! 300% greenhouse effect on that, uh... It's not the same over there, though. 300% there. It seems like all you may need is just the heckin' ceiling above it. I thought you needed just, uh... I thought the walls would work too, but I guess not. I, I, I guess it's just the ceiling. It makes sense. It makes sense. Let's see if we can make more of these things. Uh, can I reach through the window? Uh, I can't. Oh wait, I can! Oh, there we go, yes! <laughs> Let's get ourselves more greenhouse ceilings. What did I make? Like, I don't know, four more of them. That should be fine. And there we go, they're done! Alright! Well, let's go place these down over here, and they should be good to go, you guys. Alright, we should, uh... Have a 300% greenhouse effect going on here in this. Not even a. I don't even think you'd call this a greenhouse. Not even remotely a heckin' greenhouse, but whatever. <laughs> Anyways, the greenhouse effect should kick in here in just a moment. Should. Uh, yep, there it is on that. 300%, 300%, 300%. Alright, that's great! Now we have a greenhouse effect on all of this stuff here. Noise! Alright, well, let's place down the extra walls over here just because, hey, why not? Eh, I'll place them here in the middle just so they're nice out of the way. I could still just walk into here and uh, I'll be fine. Anyways, oh yeah, and by the way, I, I did extend this out so I could easily, like, fill up my canteens, or... Well, I don't even have a canteen right now, so whatever. <laughs> but I could fill up my water jars, all that kind of stuff, pretty easily, without having to go take all these extra steps to go all the way over here to this water tap, so that's kind of convenient for me. But anyways, what else was I doing around here? I don't even know what I was doing. I was doing something. Uh, I have no idea what I was doing. But... <laughs> Oh yeah, didn't I say I wanted to make like a, I wanted to tame like a snow owl and a velociraptor or something like that, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, as well as, let's, I, I kind of want to go see like which, 
one of these I actually want to make next. Like, which one of these blueprints? So the, the one we made was, what was it, epic, I think it was? This one's also epic, but it has pretty trash stats, only level 68. I think the one that we made was, like, over level 100, and of course the only level 100s we're seeing is uh, our primal ones, which are, of course, extremely icon expensive. So, level 95, that's not even 100 Gs, and it's primal, though. I don't know, I, I still think, like, we should save up for the level 35. But at the same time, we can always get a regular epic one. God, these stats are... I'm pretty sure we had at least... Dam wasn't damage over 100% on the one that we made? Oh, yeah, you can see right there, uh, crafts remaining one. Are there any of these that uh, allow you to make, like, more than one? Or are they all just one craft? Just skipping through them real quick, it looks like you can only make one at a time, so that kind of sucks. Man... Eh, what are you going to do? <laughs> it just makes sense. What about this one? This one's legendary, which is one step above epic and one step below primal. Ah, it has decent stats. Ah, it's level 90, though. Yeah, we're pretty close on element dust to make that thing. Metal ingots, we should be fine on that. It's going to take, like, a little while. And, of course, we're really close on polymer to get uh, that as well, so... I guess, if anything, we could always get this legendary one, which isn't even that bad. It's level 90. It could be a pretty good companion. Uh, I definitely want to get maybe, like, at least three of these, like I said earlier, at least three of these enforcers before we do a uh, orbital supply drop. As well as, of course, we're still going to have our T-Rexes, our Tyrannus. Hopefully, we're going to have uh, at least three Allosaurus by then as well. And, I don't know, uh, I might bring our Manic Armor, but I feel like he'd he just, like, jump up in the sky all the time. <laughs> and he wouldn't actually contribute to the fight very much. So, uh, and I'd probably be riding on my current enforcer as well during that battle. So, right now, uh, I'd say... This level 90 and this level 135. It probably it probably take a good 30 minutes to an hour for me to get all that element dust. You know, usually off camera I do the slow mo like three or slow mo four or five, and I'll speed up my gameplay and I can actually do a lot of off camera stuff, grindy stuff, resource gathering, all that kind of stuff. I, I can do all that stuff. I'm saying stuff a lot now, aren't I? Jeez. But I can do all that a lot faster off camera. So gathering about like 8,000 or so of that element dust, and you know, we're going to be gathering a little bit of scrap metal alongside that as well for the metal ingots. That's not even too hard, like I could, I could definitely start working towards that primal, but it just depends, like, I can make this basically right now, level 90 legendary, or I could wait like maybe an hour or so and get the second primal. Man, I, I am so conflicted right now. I think I might, I think I might work towards the primal. I think, I think it just makes sense, especially because of how many heckin' materials we have for it, and it's pretty high level as well, 45 levels higher than that 9, or level 90, literally 50 heckin' percent higher level than that level 90. I think it's worth it, you guys. I think I might pause the recording here in just a moment, and uh, maybe a little bit later, because of course I want to make a, I want to tame the snow owl, I want to tame the lawnsaur, and I want to do the double jump thing with our manic armor too. So yeah, I think... I think I'm definitely going to make this uh, level 135. And then after we make the level 135, we could probably make the level 90. And then after that, I don't know what we could do. <laughs> we could probably figure something out. But unfortunately, uh, I'm not seeing anything else that's like that high level. That's not primal. Everything everything else that's a high level, level 95, level 100, all that kind of stuff. They're all primal, so they're all going to be expensive as anuses to make. So yeah, that kind of sucks. But anyways, real quick, Manic Armor time! Wait, do I take, uh, oh yeah, I don't think I take damage from that because, uh, Friendly Fire is turned off. But I think if Friendly Fire was turned on, I think I would take pa passive damage from that, so, whatever. But anyways, let's do a little bit of a jump right here and then another jump. There we go, that's a double jump. That's like one, uh, triple jump. Whoa! How many I can jumps can I do? Man! I get, oh, I guess it just kind of limit. yeah. <laughs> it's limited by how much I can stamina you have. I guess because I did a lot of, uh, Decent amount of stamina upgrades. Uh, how many? Yeah, I could actually literally check. How many stamina did I do for this guy? I did 13 level ups for stamina, 21 level ups for health, 47 level ups for melee damage. Golly, I did 7 level ups for carry weight. That kind of sucks because, of course, the uh, enforcer kind of replaced this guy in terms of uh, resource gathering and whatnot. So that kind of sucks. But I guess in terms of uh, ad agility and just general, just being able to go pretty much anywhere I want. Man, this manic armor is a lot better than I thought, right? Golly. Look at this. He can heck and jump. And by the way, I was getting caught. You, you probably see it whenever we boost up in the air. But he has like heck and rockets on the bottom of his... Uh, let's see. Oh, he's got a poop on. Come on. <laughs> but like on the bottom of his foot. Yeah, like right there. I guess that's where the boost is coming out of, like on the heck and soles of his feet, which is crazy. Anyways, so we get a boost. Our stamina has 
Yeah, look at that. You can actually see the, like, igniters or whatever those are <laughs> on his actual feet, like, on the heels of his feet, which is crazy. All right. Well, we don't have any stamina right now. Thankfully, we don't take any fall damage, so that's great. Oh, my God. He just pooed. Oh, wait. Hold on. Yeah, I think I got comments from people saying, hey, uh, if you if you make him poo, apparently that makes the stamina go up faster. I don't know if that's true or not, but... Uh, of course, I could also, uh, just regularly walk if I, of course, if, if I start sprinting, of course, that'll, uh, make the stamina go down. But if I just normally walk like this, his stamina will still regen while we're still moving, so I do need to remember that. I'm just so used to, like, making everything sprint all the time, so that's kind of a little bit of a flaw on my end. But whatever. Anyways, for right now, we are on the manic armor. Uh, what'd I say? Oh, yeah, didn't I say something about, uh... Using the RG, flying around with the RG, get a nice bird's eye view of the area to find that one critter. I think it doesn't even really matter. Because, of course, the manic armor, I thought it only had, like, maybe a double jump. But, like I, like I said earlier, or like I was trying to say, I guess it's only limited by how many, how much stamina you have. So, we could, like, double jump, quadruple jump, maybe even quintuple jump. Maybe whatever the heck in six. Yeah, look at that, he's pooping again. I really do feel like that has something to do with stamina. Like, one of you, I think either one or two of you guys was commenting. Saying, uh, you could, like, uh, of course, press Z to poop and, uh, force them to poop. And apparently, I guess that makes stamina go up a little bit faster. So I definitely want to look into that. Maybe myth bust it. Kind of like a little while ago, maybe a year or two ago, maybe in Scorched Earth or something. I don't know. But uh, people were saying, hey, force feed your critter while they have low health and it'll make them heal up a lot faster. So definitely want to remember to do that here in the future. But I do know that I've seen parasaurs out here previously. I've also seen parasaurs inside the city itself. But I do want to uh, find that, like, gotcha, Christmas gotcha critter. Man, I think I've gained too much elevation. <laughs> I guess that's one thing about the RG that's a lot better than the uh, Manic Armor is that you have much more control over the whole flying aspect rather than just boost jumping in the air like five times and you go flying so I can high you can't even see anything. <laughs> Anyways, it looks like there is a uh, supply drop. You know, that's, that might still be the same one. I don't know. Anyways, I do need to make desert cloth. Uh, oh, yeah, by the way, I didn't. I don't even know if I mentioned that in this series. Uh, I think I mentioned it in Ragnarok, but I did make, or I did install that mod that I was like, hey, should I install this mod that allows me to unlock uh, stuff from like Scorched Earth, stuff from Aberration, stuff from, yeah, I think just both of those. <laughs> but uh, a lot of you guys were saying, yeah, you should definitely do that, especially because this is like supposed to be after you've already unlocked the Scorched Earth and the Aberration uh, Engrams and all that kind of stuff. So I did install that mod, so that's why I'm now able to make Desert Cloth armor so maybe i will, may want to go home i'll actually go make that desert cloth i think earlier in the series i was like yeah i can't make desert cloth that kind of sucks but it seems like i, I have to make it now especially because i'm wearing heck of a flag right now which is terrible for hot conditions like this Sheesh. if anything i might as well take it off but yeah i myth busted that a little while ago i was still getting that red flame <laughs> yeah i should definitely make the uh the desert cloth what do you need for that i, th I know you need silk and i think that might be it like maybe just cloth or fiber or hide or something like that uh not cloth you literally make cloth out of hacking fiber, I think, right? But I think I need to find one of those Lymantrias, or maybe a few of them. Either that or just crafting. I know you can uh, you can make silk yourself, too, at a uh, at a grinder or something like that, right? Or at least an S-plus grinder. But I definitely want to make some uh, desert cloth. That way I don't hack and die over here. And, of course, keep an extra set in my inventory at all times. That way, whenever I'm kind of perusing about, I'll always be prepared for hot situations like this. But for right now... I do have some of the, this, this critter I'm looking for, this gotcha critter, some of you guys probably already know what it looks like. Some of you guys are probably playing along with me, watching other YouTubers. You already know it looks like a heckin' giant sloth thing with a weird, like, I don't even know what to describe. I'll probably show a picture of it on screen right now. Jeez. <laughs> it's got like a weird, like, land formation on its back or something crazy. <laughs> but that's apparently what we're looking for. I, I, I've never seen it in games, so... I'm just assuming that we're going to be finding a pretty special ver uh, looking version of that. And I have not seen anything thus far, so... I guess while we're here in Scorched Earth, we can actually go inside the Scorched Earth biome. And maybe even tame a Velanosaur here in a bit. I know we don't have any, uh... Yeah, you know what? Do we have any Honest right now? We might have some on our... Yeah, oh my god, yeah, we've got tons of Primate Honest, no problem. Sheesh. And I've got tons of, uh... Of, uh, Poison Arrows, too, so I, I am completely set in that front. You know what's so funny? Did you guys notice it? My, uh, my big red flame is no longer in my, in the bottom right hand corner, even though we just went inside the Scorched Earth biome, like, how does that make any sense, jeez. <laughs> Alright, well, oh yeah, and, uh, taming more Allosaur, where was that Al I don't remember. You guys remember one of them rampages with my manic armor. I came into here, uh, I'm trying to remember, where was that, I think it was like level 80 or something like that, wasn't it? It was like level 80 Allosaurus, I, I specifically 
did not kill it because I wanted to come back later and tame it to add to our group. Ah, uh, I'm trying to... I don't remember for... I think it might have been on a lower part of this world. Whoa, Carnotaurus level 112. Golly, of course, that, that is one of the Carnotaurus that hangs, around, hangs out around the Utyranus. What level is that Utyranus right there? Ah, uh, level 12, that's nothing. I guess I could kill those guys. I might save them for later. I might save them for some other critter I might come into here and do a rampage with. But for right now, I might pause the recording and try and just go around here and try and find that level. If it's even still here, it might have despawned. It might have gotten killed by something by now. I doubt that, though, if it was that high level. High, le high enough level for me to be like, yeah, I want to come back later and tame it. But yeah, I, I don't want to spend like a million years on camera <laughs> trying to find this one Allosaurus. So let me just pause the recording real quick. Try and find this guy on... Oh yeah, and look at my stamina right now. It's it's, it's basically drained. Let's poop. There we go. I, I just I just pooped. I'm like, I am also not moving as well, so... Yeah, I don't know. Hmm. Can I poop again? Oh, I just pooped again! Huh. I guess if anything, if, if you do want to poop a lot... You might as well drain your heck of stamina. That's that's one thing, but I don't think pooping actually like boosts your stamina. I don't, I don't think it makes it like regen any faster than normal. Uh, at least that's how I'm. And they just pooped again. Of course, I am commanding him to poop, but at the same time, you'd think there'd be quite a significant cooldown between the poops. But anyways, let me pause the recording and try and find this Allosaurus, and I will see you guys here in just a bit. <laughs> 